welcome back to my channel. I'm Mrs. Gonzalez and I am so happy that you are tuning in again for another week of story time. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Each week I share a different bilingual story for children. And if you're enjoying the content and you love all the stories, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Love Monster, Monstruo y el Amor by Rachel Bright This is a monster. Hello, monster. Este es un monstruo. Hola, monstruo. Creo que estarás de acuerdo en que tiene una cara chistosa, por no decir otra cosa. I think you'll agree he's a little bit funny looking, to say the least. He lives in a world of cute, fluffy things. Vive en un mundo de cosas lindas y mullidas. Y tener una cara chistosa en un mundo así no es fácil. Which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. You might have noticed that everybody loves kittens and puppies and bunnies, you know, cute fluffy things. Habrás notado que todo el mundo ama a los gatos, los perros, los conejos. Ya sabes, cosas lindas y mullidas. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a bit googly-eyed monster. Pero nadie ama a un monstruo medio peludo con ojos saltones. Pobre monstruo. Poor monster. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a bit down in the dumps, but not being the moping around sort. Esto puede hacer que un monstruo se sienta triste, pero como él no es de los que se quejan. He decided to set out and look for someone who'd love him just the way he was. Decidió salir a buscar a alguien que lo amara tal y como era. He looked high. Buscó por arriba. Buscó por abajo. He looked low. Buscó por el medio. He looked middle-ish. Tumbleweed. Planta rodadora. He looked inside. Buscó adentro. And outside. Y afuera. Más de una vez pensó que quizás more than once he thought that maybe, just maybe, solo quizás, había encontrado lo que estaba buscando. He found what he was looking for. Pero se dio cuenta de que las cosas nunca son lo que parecen. But as it turned out, things were never quite as they seemed. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go so well. Si sí, podría decirse que su búsqueda no salió nada bien. And then it didn't go well some more. 
y después salió peor. It didn't go well for such a long time. In fact, pasó tanto tiempo sin que saliera bien que, de hecho, todo comenzó a ponerse oscuro. That it began to get dark. Y espantoso. And scary. Y pues, and well, no muy agradable. Not very nice. Así que el monstruo se le acabaron las ganas y decidió que era hora de darse por vencido. So the monster, having lost all his oomph, decided it was time to give up and go home y volver a casa. But in the blink of a googly eye, pero en el parpadear de un ojo saltón, todo cambió. Everything changed. You see, sometimes when you least expect it, ya ves, a veces cuando menos lo esperas, love finds you. El amor te encuentra. The end. Or we can say a Spanish chant that sounds something like this. Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please comment below to let me know who was your favorite character and what was your favorite part of the story. And if you haven't already, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to visit our website to register for a free class. Link in the description below. Until next time, adios!